This is an open letter to the world from an American. We, the American people, are not your enemy. Please give me a few minutes of your time, human being to human being, for we're all in peril. I recognize that to many, if not most of the world, the United States of America is seen as a tyrannical and moralist nation. How can I argue against that? I cannot, for it is unfortunately the truth. Those who have control of this once great nation have turned a beautiful and bountiful republic, the very envy of the world for its liberty of the individual and government constrained to its proper limited role in the lives of its people into an oppressive emerging police state and the greatest threat to peace the world has ever seen. For this, we the American people are responsible and will doubtless soon pay dearly just as every people of a republic turned empire and tyranny has. Our astonishing comforts born of individual liberty, responsibility, and morality has given way to apathy, ignorance, and the sense of entitlement. Encouraged by socially destructive social programs, corrupt schools, media, and entertainment industries, we Americans by vast majority have become lazy, selfish, obese, and ignorant. We're a war-weary people with an economy on the verge of collapse. The bread lines of the past are being hidden by direct payments from a government desperate to keep the illusion of normalcy, but very much aware that the course has nearly run out. History teaches that when governments cause the collapse of a nation's economy through corruption and greed, they use war as a shield and a distraction, and those who see through this illusion are labeled unpatriotic, subversive, or even as today, potential terrorists. To any American who would say such of me, I say, show me where I'm wrong. Evil is evil regardless of how you feel about it, and truth regardless of what the government schools teach, is not malleable based on your emotions. We Americans have fallen prey to a corrupt political elite which will go to any extreme to maintain the status quo of a false two-party paradigm while in fact the two parties are operating in lockstep to enrich themselves and subjugate the American people through lies fear, and intimidation. We've also fallen to a financial elite with no loyalty to anything but wealth. As has happened in the past to other nations, the American Republic has been transformed into a fascistic state. No longer are laws written to protect the individual. Now they are written by the corporations and put into law to further bleed the wealth and labors from the American people. At the heart of it is the parasitic central banking system put in place and protected by traitors to the people. One of our greatest forefathers warned us of this. Listen carefully to his words. They may apply to your nation as well. I believe that banking institutions are more dangerous to our liberties and standing armies. If the American people ever allow private banks to control the issue of their currency, first by inflation, then by deflation, the banks and the corporations that will grow up around the banks will deprive the people of all property until their children wake up homeless on the continent their fathers conquered. Thomas Jefferson. In truth, this is now what America goes to war for. Bankers, corporation, 
and the corrupt politicians they have purchased. These same who have reduced Americans to renters with the illusion, illusion of ownership of their homes and created our own police state just waiting to be unleashed upon us, perhaps deservedly so. We, the American people, have been lied into wars of aggression with and against you to support this corrupt monetary system and corporations which have indeed grown up around it just as we were warned. It is the propagation and continuation of this corrupt system that has led to these wars of aggression by America and the Western Central Bank nations and led to the death and disfigurement of your brothers and sisters and mine. For your murdered women and children, I have no parallel. Only grief and guilt. We, the American people, are not your enemy. The corrupt politicians, bankers, and corporations are, and they are our enemy as well. These mutual enemies of ours are not just preparing for acts of aggression against you, they're also pre-positioning war materials all across America to do war on the American people as well. The surveillance state that is now the United States is a wonder of modern technological power. Literally trillions of dollars have been spent to be able to categorize those who have or may resist. Laws such as the National Defense Authorization Act have been passed to give the United States government the legal authority to disappear those of us they deem inconvenient, while at the same time the United States government points the fingers at other regimes who have done the same, but where it is still technically against the law. Our tyrants, lawyers most of them, have made it legal here, and in their minds that makes it a distinction. Just as the gassing of 26 children and 50 adults at the Waco, Texas massacre prior to incinerating them was justified, but only if it is American law enforcement doing it. Under the fear tactic of terrorism, repeated false flag attacks have been perpetrated against us, the American people, and thousands of innocents killed. I know that to date, these lies and false flags have cost you much, much more. Again, all I can say as I grieve and feel guilt. Millions have been killed in our name, nations brought to anarchy and ruin to give the feast to the carrion eaters who thrive on death and destruction, the bankers who finance and profit from both sides of the conflicts and then again profit from the cost of the rebuilding as well, the international commodities corporations who move in right behind the killers, loot the vanquished for their resources of the nation, but sell to the highest bidder on the world market with no loyalty to the country who supplied the wealth, blood, and killers to enable their plunder. Such blood commodities should be banned as blood diamonds are. The military industrial complex has grown to such leviathan proportions that its presence is ubiquitous everywhere in America. And soon we Americans will share in the wages of evil and sin that we allowed to be brought to you. As long as these war criminals and perpetrators of crimes against humanity are alive in positions of power or have any influence there is no hope for peace in the world. As long as these war criminals and perpetrators of crimes against humanity are alive in positions of power or have any influence, mankind itself is in danger of extinction. If we are fated to eventually give our lives 
in the defense of life, liberty, family, or honor, let us be wise in how we spend our blood. Let us know that we are not the enemy of each other. We have a mutual enemy who fears our awakening from the illusion and that the division by race, religion, national origin, these are tools of the deceivers and the carrion eaters. We, the American people, are not your enemy. My name is Chuck Smith from Texas, USA, and I say to you, we are not your enemies. Let us work together to eliminate those who truly are. Strength and honor. Be of service. Talk to people. Save lives. Peace. May your God or your gods go with you. <laughs>